Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the Bible Reading Contest 61, Minimum Number of Operations to Make Array Continuous. Um, so this one, it requires one observation, and once you make that observation, it's pretty simple, um, but it is maybe tricky and one that it took me a little bit of time to convince. Um, and I, to be frank, um, I'm in Spain right now, so and I just got here, and the sun is actually pretty good. I don't know if you can see it, so I wanted to get out and you know take some pictures. Follow me on Instagram. So yeah, uh, so I'm, I rushed through this one during the contest. So yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, give me a little bit of support. There are a lot of people doing really well with this contest, so come hang out, chat, whatever you need to do. Uh, and yeah, but, but yeah, for this one, the the key, you know, the naive thing to kind of think about. Uh, the way that I thought about it from the beginning is sliding window, right? Basically, you have a continue. You need a continuum. So then you basically try from okay, from zero to one to or from zero to n or from zero to n minus one, from one to n, from two to n plus one. So, so that 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 right. So that's basically the, the the sort of a sliding window. Um, but the tricky thing is, you know, n is ten to the fifth. So that's a lot of numbers, and the numbers can be really big. So if you do something like really naively, like one at a time, um, that's going to take too long, right? So I have, to, so I did think about this, and I thought about this some idea of a prefix sum. I'm not going to go over prefix sum that much, um, but I was thinking about prefix sum so that you know you can um, you can query them. But but then I I did make one insight, which is that if you have a line segment, right? Let's say. Uh, not, uh, let's say you have a, a lot of numbers, and then, you know, let's just say it starts at a thousand, a thousand one, a thousand and two, a thousand three, a thousand four, a thousand five, whatever, and maybe just add a, a couple of numbers, uh, you know, just to put up the range. So the thing here is that, okay, the key thing to note, and one thing that I took me a little bit of time to get, is that let's, you know, for this one, you, have, you, have, you need seven numbers. So here, you always, the key observation is, you always start at this number as a brute force check. What do I mean? It means that, you know, there are actually, um, in this case, there are at least three different optimal solutions, right? You can think of it as, okay, so you have 999, uh, duh, 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 right? You have this thing, but you know, 1006, and you know, you have this thing, but 1007, right? So these are your three answers. Um, one thing to note is you only need to return the number, so it doesn't matter how what answer it is. But from here, you can see that, and you can actually do the opposite. You can, you know, have every number that ends there, but it's the same idea, right? Um, you, that in this case, if, there are a couple of scenarios, right? Where um, in this case, any numbers that you add to the front, you could add to the end, unless unless these numbers are already taken, right? Well, if these numbers are already taken, then if these if these two numbers, like for example, if one thousand and seven is in the input set, if the numbers are already taken, then you always want to greedily start at a thousand and one, right? And conversely, if 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 nine 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 is in the input, then okay. In this case, I guess you want to squeeze to the left. But the observation there is that in that case, you don't have to because you already did it because nine 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 is the number that you would have done it for going to the right from nine nine nine. So that's basically the observation here. So that that means that it this reduces the problem from checking from. For every x in the array, check whether how many numbers are within x and x plus uh, n minus one, right? Because for every number that's not in here, not in this range, it doesn't matter what they are. You can just add them into that range, right? So in this case, it will be one thousand and one, and this is one thousand and seven. So even if say this is there's a thousand and seven, um, you notice that there's only five numbers, so if there are five numbers, you need seven numbers, there's two numbers that need to change. And you don't care where they come from, I mean, they'll come from, because they come from outside the range anyway, right? So that's basically the answer, except for one more thing, um, which I actually got a wrong answer on, 
So one more thing that is makes this not true, and you may already done it, is about duplicate numbers, right? So for example, if this is this case, well, if the answer is not uh, two or whatever it was anymore, the answer is you have to get rid of these two as well. Um, the easy way to fix this though is noting that if there are any numbers that are duplicate, you always have to move them anyway. So because you always have to move them anyway, you just remove them right off the get-go. That's basically my idea. So that now in, instead of this being the input, I mean, you keep the same end because that's what you're looking for. But here you just remove them both out of the way and you can remove them easily because you don't have to add them back until later because um, it's forced, right? You can add them however you like. It doesn't matter. It's just a number that you need. So it becomes a folding number, if you will. So that's basically the idea. Um, I First, I deduped this, and then I sort from left to right. Um, this sorting allows us to do that, that check from x to x plus n minus 1 by using two binary search. Um, and in fact, I actually did an ex I don't know why. I, did, uh, I think during the contest, I was just watching it. I didn't want to think about it. But this is just, you know, this is part of the input, so it's fine. Like, you could have done this instead, and it would be the same thing. So it becomes just one binary search. But because this is n log n, um, it's fast enough that I didn't worry about an extra log, uh, extra log n factor. Uh, not even a factor, just a constant log n, right? So yeah, so basically, this gets us, you know, we know we know the index for, for the left starting point, and then the index right, will, um, this binary search will get us the right starting point, and that will get us the, no the number of numbers that are inside, and then we just subtract n from that, from the uh, inside to get the numbers that we have to change, and then we just take the best out of all the possible, all the possibilities, pretty much. Um, yeah, so this is n log n, because, you know, we have log n, or oh, sorry, we have n elements and log n per iteration, um, and also there's a sorting, so it's going to be n log n anyway. Um, in terms of space, this is all of n, technically, because you probably should not mutate the input, which actually we did, and we, we just mutated the, uh, we didn't mutate the input, we mutated the variable pointer, and the distinction I'm not going to go over, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, so technically, this is all of n space, we didn't do anything in place is what I mean. So you can do things in place, that's awkward anyway, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so n log n time, all of n space, and that's all I have. I'll see you later. Um, you can watch me solve it live next. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone already solved it. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I was on Discord, but you can replace any number. Oh, let me okay. Return a minimum. Oh, okay. Mm, so we can make any element, any element. Hmm. First of all, that maybe we saw it, but. Can we do a small proof first? This is tough because I have two penalties on first one. That, otherwise, I think I would have been in an okay position. But, oh wow, two people finish. But because of the two penalties, I'm going to give a lot of penalty for a, a while. But two people already finished. Wow, two. Okay. Hmm. Mm, let's see what happens. I think we want a sort of a prefix sum. And then binary search. For each number, what do we do? Well, now you can do all of it, can you? Mm. <coughs> mm, interesting that someone got. The long, uh, hmm. Can you always? I mean, this is not a good example in that if I have something like I was going to say you can always make the smallest, but you have something like this, then, uh, well, I guess maybe seven. Eight. Mm. Uh, like maybe nine ten. Mm. 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 Mm.
then in that case, you wouldn't make the one. Hmm. <clears throat> Can we do sliding window? I mean, I think it is going to be sliding window, but how do we do it in a way that is sensible? You can do 10 to the fifth for each number. Because that, so that's too many events on that sliding window in a naive way. But I need paper, pen and paper, but I don't have it right now because I'm traveling. I, I think my hypothesis is that for each number, we do we do account from that number and and that number because we try to count okay i think maybe i got it let's see i'm over explaining a little bit uh okay so for start and Maybe that's why I feel like I could leave out. And then now, that's the end. Something like that, maybe. I don't actually even know what the bisect is like. I don't know. Yep, okay. Let's see. Hmm, that's probably not right. So, one. One, two, 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 two. If this is right, I have a lot of time to, to debug it. If it's not, then I guess we'll see. I, I didn't get the jiggers out, like just from um, just from being on traveling, just got him back into my desk in time. So I think that's an issue. But okay, so two plus. Hmm. So for two, you have index zero and three, right? I want bisect left. Or bisect right. We want to bisect right minus one. So then that should be okay. A lot of things wrong, but hmm. What is on what? Oh, it's n minus this because that's the number that's inside the range. But I think I'm still wrong, but. So one three, hmm, is that good enough? This should be one, I think. Now let's give us some midgets because I have no idea how to look at test cases anyway. So okay, hmm, I think I did not consider the duplicate case though, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I, yeah, I messed up on this one. I didn't consider the duplicate case. So then now how do I consider the duplicate case? The duplicate case is such that, okay. Mm. Well, the duplicate case we have to move, right? So basically, um, yeah. So now we get the line. Uh, nums is equal to set of nums. Mm. 
No, okay, so this is at least two. This should be expected too. So let's give us a minute. I'm really getting a lot of wrong answers today because I'm just not caring enough. But okay, looks good. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what? Uh, hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I'm in Spain right now, so I'm just chilling. Uh, I did a lot of wrong answers as a result, but eh, it's all right. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, to good lead coding. I'll see you later. Bye bye.